Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to the video you've been waiting for, gaming on the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. So we finally have both devices here and I'm one of those who has them in graphite and black, 12 Pro and 12, so you guys can be happy, you can see the colors you want. And uh, yes, these devices are here. We wanna see how well it performs, the A14 Bionic, and also the display, brand new display we have here on the device. Now, starting off, both devices have similar size displays, 6.1 inches, uh, which is for both the 12 and 12 Pro, but they are not 120 hertz display. Sadly, we do not have that on the iPhone uh, 12 line yet, so we'll see hopefully that comes next year. But in terms of performance, we're looking at the A14 Bionic chipset, which should give us a lot of great performance on the device. And we'll look at benchmarks later, so uh, let's wait till then. We do have, of course, stereo speakers on the device. And if you guys wanna take a good deep dive into the speakers for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, definitely check out our link uh, up there, top you know, right-hand corner of your screen, where we do our speaker test, and you can see how well the speakers perform. But you hear it during the gameplay session. So I'm not gonna waste your time. We're gonna go jump right in into some gaming and then we'll talk about the kind of performance we talk about heat we'll be taking a look at a few games call of duty mobile pubg mobile genshin impact samurai jack and blade of god those last two games are on apple arcade so you can check it out uh through apple arcade if you want to play them so let's go ahead and start doing some gaming guys
All right, so gaming performance overall was pretty good. I had some really good performance with PUBG Mobile going through the highest settings of Ultra HD, HD, which was great to see that. Uh, also Call of Duty, of course, which runs quite well in most games. Genshin Impact, I wanna say big thanks to you guys for suggesting this game. It looks really fun, interesting, and it played really well on the device. Now, um, Blade of God played really well, but I did have some slowdowns on Samurai Jack and it looked like it happened a few stages throughout the game. Uh, nothing too crazy, but it was noticeable enough. Uh, I will at least put this in the corner of game still needs to be optimized for the new chipset, so we have to wait and see. But stay tuned for my full gaming review where I'll give you the thoughts on, on that. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, you guys are probably waiting for that. Uh, I don't have any FPS readings for you. Again, that will be coming on my full gaming review uh, because my benchmark tool just wasn't ready enough for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro in terms of just some of the software things. But I did run Geek Benchmark 5. And looking at Geek Benchmark 5 for both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro, we had some interesting numbers. So the, for the iPhone 12, single core was 1,594, 12 Pro was 1,606, while the multi-core was 4,120 for the iPhone 12, and 12 Pro had a multi-core of 4,110. So multi-core is a little bit different with the 12 and 12 Pro, but that was really, really good. Now, when you compare this to uh, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which has you know the Snapdragon 865 Plus behemoth of a processor, that has a single core of 928 and a multi-core of 2,800. So the multi-core processing on the iPhone is double that of the Galaxy. So just in terms of pure raw performance, that is what you will be getting. There's no two ways about it, guys. I'm sorry, that is what it is. So when it comes to temperatures, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro ran at 107 degrees or 41 degrees Celsius. So it ran rather warm. And this is something we've seen for the iPhone year in, year out, and hasn't changed this year. But what I tend to do is I game with cases and you guys, you guys know I love speaking cases and they are partner with us on this video. Now, one of the speaking cases I've kind of gone back to is the new hybrid case. I like the bumper feel on the iPhone 12 and I also like the back texture on here, especially when I'm gaming, easier for me to grip on during gameplay and also reduces the amount of heat I experience. Now, the other benefit to it is also it works with the MagSafe charger, which is nice to see. And the MagSafe charger also works on the liquid air case on my iPhone 12 Pro. I do like the liquid air because it's a little bit softer, especially since this is a heavier device, so it feels a little bit lighter on there. But again, MagSafe charging, it works while I'm using the device, which is great to see. Now, the cool thing about the MagSafe charger is that you can use it while you're gaming at the same time, and it doesn't inf interfere with your lightning port. So if you're using lightning headphones, that can go with it as well, but also it charges at the back of your device. And make sure you get a 20 watt charger. I do have a link for you for the speaking charger below. So you guys can go ahead and use that because you're going to definitely need a charger because the MagSafe doesn't come with the charger itself. And as we know, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro don't come with chargers in the box. And you definitely need a 20 watt charger, not an 18, not a 15, a 20 watt charger for the MagSafe charger. So there's a couple of things to throw in there. But in terms of gaming overall, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, I think handle things pretty well. Um, in terms of uh, performance, I think it's pretty solid. Again, we'll have to see, wait and see for those FPS uh, marks and counters. I apologize, I just don't have them yet. Um, but I can tell you that it ran really smooth, except for, of course, one game. Now, we don't have 120 hertz display, which is a bit of a bummer. And you know, when you game on 120 hertz display, you move over, you can tell the difference. And that's just something that I would like to see change. And also the temperatures running at 107 degrees. And that was in, in the period of about 30 to 45 minutes, by the way, just to give you the kind of time frame it was. So there you have it, guys. That is gaming on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. Let me know what you think. You, see, you can see the Geek Benchmark scores and performance. You saw how the games played. Um, leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna pick up any of those accessories from Spigen, um, use the links down below. So this is Thunder E saying thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.